Hi folks, Aaron with the Kunkel Homestead here, just doing a quick video about our garden. Um, we don't really talk a whole lot about our garden because we don't have a whole lot of a garden at the moment. That is something we are working on changing. Um, today, my project is going to be to construct a compost bin uh, out of some old pallets, dogs, and um, that way we can get started on some composting this fall. Um, today's date's uh, October 17th, 2019, just for reference. So we're hoping we can do some compost through the winter and have that ready for spring. So let me show you the plan. So this is the area I'm going to make our compost bin in. Um, the reason we chose this spot is, as you can see, it does get some shade, which is good. We don't want the compost to get too much sunlight or it will dry out. We did choose a location that was a little bit farther away from the house, um, just to help in case there's any bugs or smell, um, but we did want to keep it close by. If it was too far away, we wouldn't ever want to use it. Now that being said, right here is where we are wanting to put our garden. We chose this area because as you can see, it's uh, about four in the afternoon right now, mid-October, and that spot still has full sun compared to just a little bit farther into the backyard, which is being blocked by the tree that I'm standing in front of that the compost bin is going to be next to. That way we can hopefully maximize our growing season. Okay, for a quick materials list here, aside from the obvious uh, pallets, um, here we have some angle irons, which I'm going to use in the corners to hold the pallets together. I'm also going to try to use a pallet as a door um, to help keep the dogs and other things out of the compost and to keep it from falling out as well. So we have some hinges for that. This is two hinges. And I also have a hook and eye that I'm just going to use as a latch to keep that door closed. Um, I would recommend at least using galvanized material. Um, I wouldn't use the plain zinc that's going to rust away and have problems way too quickly. Um, stainless is probably going to be the best, but that is also going to be the most expensive. Um, so galvanized is um, still pricier than the plain zinc, but uh, if it doesn't rust out in a year, it'll kind of pay for itself. I have got to get me a cordless drill. Yikes. Either way, our angle irons are in place, one in each corner. That gives us our basic structure at this point. Now you can see, and these particular pallets, these slats are quite a ways apart. So I'm gonna end up dumping half my compost out into the yard instead of keeping it in the bin. So what I'm gonna do is I have a couple of extra boards that I just had laying around. I'm gonna nail those or screw those into the back to fill that one in and then I'm gonna use this chicken wire to kind of reinforce the uh, the rest of the inside to hopefully keep everything contained a little bit better. Stay tuned. Those of you that know me in person you know that I'm just a little bit OCD. This is perhaps the greatest moment in my life. And that was the greatest day of my whole life. What about when I was born? Not even close. Check this out. The chicken wire is the exact height that makes me happy. Okay, lost daylight yesterday and my camera battery died, so I came back out this morning. It is cold. Um, got the compost bin all finished up, so let's take a quick look. So we have our door attached now with our hinges. That was a little bit tricky but not too much of a problem. And Amanda will show us here how the door closes. It catches here and there just a little bit on the ground, but not bad. And this end actually just kind of sits nicely on the dirt. So we're not even gonna bother with the, uh, the hook and eye loop like we were looking at. The door looks like it's gonna stay shut just fine and keeps the curious doggos out of the compost pile. So that's it, that is our completed compost bin and now we can start to fill it up for our garden.